Hello traders, uh, good afternoon. My name is Tomasz Wiśniewski. I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis. And this is daily analytical report. Uh, so, I will tell you what's going on on the markets uh, from the technical and fundamental point of view. Uh, we do have few very interesting movements right now on the market. For the as we speak, euro dollar is breaking the lower line of the pennant. I will show you that a bit later. Uh, but it is indeed a good trading uh, setup to go short. Uh, but before that, now we have to go. With, uh, we need to see the calendar always before trading. You need to see the calendar and also um, remember that. It's Friday, so if you open a position uh, for next uh, week, to, if you want to keep it over the weekend for the next week, uh, keep in mind that uh, you need to check the calendar uh, for the next week. You need to know what is going to happen on Monday and Tuesday, etc. So today is non fund payrolls in uh, three and a half hours. Uh, and before non fund payrolls, American dollar is getting stronger. The thing is that, uh, non as well, we said that a few times that uh, non fund payrolls lost the relevance, so it's, it's not uh, the most important data um, in the world right now. Uh, I think this uh, attention is shifted towards the inflation. But anyway. Now, what you have here on the calendar is PMIs. So we got PMIs from Eurozone, we got PMIs from China. All of them came worse than expectations. Uh, so um, we do have a bit of disappointment, but still those numbers are pretty high. So all of those numbers are above 50. 50 is like a border between a contraction and, and recovery. Uh, so it is still all good. The previous number no, on non farm parallels one month ago was very low, 100,000 uh, 100, uh, jobs created. Now we are expecting bounce, 192. We'll see if it's going to happen also unemployment rate is uh, expected to drop from 4.1 to 4.0 uh, uh, what will be interesting to see it will be average hourly earnings 2.7 and we will see if it is actually going to happen uh, what is uh, planned in the next week Monday is well on Saturday we'll have a uh, Fed talk. A uh, few members of the FOMC will have their speeches the same on a Sunday. Mm, on Monday we continue with the speeches from the Fed uh, members, uh, Kaplan uh, Bostich. And um, on Tuesday um, trade data from China so important well, for you one but also for australian dollar and w wednesday will be empty uh, thursday is super important day and thursday well we, we, we start straight uh, when the clock will uh, move to thursday from wednesday we have a rate statement a rate decision from reserve bank of new zealand uh, then um, uh, in the morning uh, we have industrial production from UK, uh, also rate decision from Bank of England and also CPI uh, from United States, so super important data, uh, pack of data in, uh, on Thursday. And then Friday will be very uh, quiet, well it should be very quiet. So. The next week will be all about the first day data, uh, the data which will be shown on Thursday. So that is the calendar. Uh, let me show you now what's, uh, what's happening on the market from the technical point of view.
So this is Euro dollar. Uh, what we have in Euro dollar is a pennant. This is hourly chart, so it's a midterm occasion. What we have is a pennant, and uh, we had quite a big uh, selling pressure on the lower line of the pennant. Those two candles show, uh, are showing that to shooting stars. And as we were stalking, um, as I was talking about the macro calendar, the price was trying to break the lower line of the pennant. Now they, it seems like this line, well, they are trying to defend this line. Obviously, it's, we're just six minutes in, into this hourly candle. So it's too early to say if this line is going to be defended or not. The thing is that uh, all odds are against uh, euro dollar. Why? Well, we are in a downtrend and it's a beautiful downtrend because it has one, two, three, four points. The line is connecting four points together. So that is super legitimate downtrend. Uh, pennant in a downtrend. Pennant is a trend continuation pattern, so it suggests us that this downtrend should be continued. Well, there is nothing to add here, actually. That's pretty simple. In, in the longer term, I can add uh, fail to create a correction equality pattern. So this correction had uh, 550 pips. And this one failed to stop on 550 pips, which would be here and went lower so that's a felt correction quality pattern it didn't uh, act as a, a strong support 23.6 didn't act as a support and highs from september and highs from january also didn't act as a support well they did the thing is they did at the end of april but that was a false bounce anyway well that was a nice buy signal very good buy signal uh, but it would it was fake well it was good on the paper when it was created now we know it was a bad trading signal but hey that's how it looks like if i didn't see this right side of the chart and i would see only this hammer on this horizontal support i would be very optimistic about euro dollar and i would uh, buy it but now with uh, the recent developments uh, on the euro dollar um, what I'm seeing here is a breakout of the pennant and a movement towards 38.2 on 1.17. Psychological support, 38.2, uh, broken up trend line. This uh, movement towards the 38.2 seems very, very probable. What we need to see here is uh, uh, much better numbers, much higher non-farm payrolls. Uh, which would give a fuel for the buyer, for the sellers, uh, for the dollar bulls. And that would be more than welcomed here. So the technical situation is bearish, but we wait for the fuel uh, for this movement and fuel can be given by the good data from the United States. That's euro dollar. Next instrument is British pound to American dollar, which is ha having a very negative situation. Uh, because uh, cable also uh, touched super important support, and I and I traded that. I opened my long position here, uh, which ended on stop loss. But anyway, it was worth it. It was totally worth it. Because the price was touching the long-term uptrend line uh, together with the strong horizontal support. The price was touching it, uh, supposed to create a reversal, but they failed. And the price broke this uptrend line. It seems like this uptrend line is broken, which will trigger us, uh, which triggers us actually a sell signal as we speak. First target is here. Uh, so it's also a good risk to reward ratio of first target 230 pips stop loss somewhere here 60. Uh, let me also check the fibonacci's here 
from the ball from this bottom to this top okay this bottom needs to be readjusted like that yeah this 38.2 also seems like a reasonable support here especially that it was resistance support here so it also looks good as a potential area mm, as a potential target after this breakout but the risk to reward ratio is not so good if you sell here stop loss here and sell here stop loss 50 pips let's say first target 90 okay fair enough it would be better to aim for 220 uh, but hey you cannot have everything Okay. Next one, British pound to Japanese. Yeah, that was a good call from our team. Uh, that was a good call. Uh, what we are having here is we are aiming the uptrend line. There is another uptrend line here, a little bit lower. Uh, the thing is, I do have a short position here after uh, this uh, support was broken and then it was tested as a resistance and then price went significantly lower making lower lows and lower highs that was a great call mm, we are approaching area of uh, important support somewhere here probably we'll have a bounce uh, we'll see if that's gonna happen mm, but the sentiment is definitely negative but the support is very very near uh, what we have here is like a small head and shoulder formation left shoulder head, head and right shoulder broken flag and a broken support that was a strong signal then broken support was tested as a resistance that was uh, that was a good one next one is gold gold is doing it's best to protect $1,300 for ounce but well this kind of defense is uh, it does not look good look uh, here now we defend it with a hammer beautiful hammer beautiful here long tails and a strong reversal here but this is not a good defense well it's good so far because the price is still above uh, but they could have been better they could have done better i think that this support is uh, still under the heavy pressure and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if the price tested this long-term uptrend line this red one also taking into the consideration the fact that uh, the formation that we are having here is a is a wedge with a possible um, trend continuation pattern right price closing here somewhere here will be for me a sell signal on gold euro to canadian dollar is aiming super important horizontal support and i really do think they're gonna make it because i would like to see how the price will react on this uh, area because that would be a nice occasion to buy so now the price is creating a pennant here and here and we are waiting for the breakout of either the upper line or the lower line of this formation which can give us 100 pips well the breakout of the lower line well the upper line as well so in both cases we fight for 100 pips but what i would see what i would like to see is a price getting to the red area creating a reversal pattern like a bullish angle thing or like a flag and then if i would uh, see this kind of a formation i would uh, consider going 
going long. New Zealand dollar to American dollar after this heavy drop we are trying for a small reversal maybe it won't be that deep to aim the green area it would be nice to see this but chances for that are really low definitely the long-term sentiment on New Zealand dollar to American dollar is negative Euro to British pound well, finally, it seems like this head and shoulder formation is uh, this inverse head and shoulder formation is working. Left shoulder head and the right shoulder break out of the neckline. Neckline tested as a support, and the price is aiming higher. It makes sense. Mm, the price has big chances to aim this resistance. 86 pips. I think it's doable. So the sentiment is positive. Australian dollar to uh, American dollar. Also here I thought about the bigger correction. Well, it would be super nice to see the price uh, aiming this downtrend line and this down uptrend line and this horizontal resistance and the price creating a shooting star here. That would be marvelous. I would love to see this kind of formation. But, well, it seems like uh, traders do not want to go any higher. Uh, the price is creating a beautiful flag formation. So keep that in mind. Well, it's a wedge flag. It doesn't really matter. Because all you do is to wait uh, for the breakout of the lower line of the flag. And once the price will break the lower line of the flag, with this, mm, you should sell. DAX, our scenario is in the game because we are expecting the price to go a little bit lower. Test the recent broken resistance as a support. Uh, here, here, here. Any bullish price action here will be a buy signal. I guess we can have an uptrend line here. Any bullish price action like a hammer uh, or a bullish angle thing would be a very good occasion to buy. Let's go with next few instruments. WTI oil is having a beautiful flag formation flag is bullish flag is positive uh, flag is a trend continuation pattern it's it's uh, in a in an uptrend so it promotes further upswing once we'll break the upper line of the flag the buy signal on oil will be created i think that oil would be much much higher if not the stronger dollar so I'm afraid what's going to happen to oil if the dollar will get weaker. Um, well, hopefully uh, for those guys who pay a lot of money for the petrol, uh, we won't go any higher here. American dollar to Canadian dollar. We had attractions a few weeks ago. Now it's all gone. Super boring sideways trend we try to break uh, resistances we try to break supports of this formation nothing worked uh, only the breakout of the blue line is sell signal only the break area is a buy signal entering before that it's very risky because well that's my trading strategy that i try as much as possible well sideways trends are good for me because are good for the future uh, because they give a good um, they are good formations for the future because you wait for the breakout of the from the sideways trend and then you uh, go with the with the breakout so they can give you money but sideways trends give you money when uh, when they are over that's the thing with sideways trends. New Zealand dollar uh, to Japanese yen. Situation here is uh, negative. 
the price broke the horizontal support tested that as a resistance once twice and went lower now the most probable scenario is the price getting to this green area we will see if it's gonna happen american dollar to uh, danish uh, crown what we are waiting uh, what we are waiting here if, is a, a small reversal but well, apparently they don't want to do this they want to climb higher 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 fair enough buy signal was created here when the price broke this horizontal resistance actually here when the price broke from the sideways trend american dollar to singaporean dollar and that was a good call we said that the breakout of this line will trigger buy signal since that the price making higher highs and higher lows everything is positive here movement looks sustainable uh, breakout the price closing above the green area will be a strong buy signal and um, should give us a 300 30 pips trading signal bitcoin bitcoin um, use this pennant and i'm very happy that i showed you this pennant uh, on wednesday uh, pennant is a trend continuation pattern the trend was positive before that because since uh, the beginning of april the price of bitcoin was going higher so we went from six thousand three hundred uh, dollars for one bitcoin uh, we went to um, over nine thousand dollars with this kind of a price action surprise so breaking the upper line of the pennant we should get to 11,000 uh, bitcoins uh, $11,000 for one bitcoin soon that is our scenario for the bitcoin so it's positive FTSE FTSE well I love the fact uh, that here we got a false breakout from the flag and from this point the FTSE just went mad and uh, why I love this uh, because um, I like false breakouts uh, I love trading false breakouts I love when false breakouts work out and when they give uh, great trading signals like this one for example what else can I say about FTSE? Mm, now it's a good time for the correction because we stopped on a quite important horizontal resistance. Maybe it's a good correction to aim this uh, uptrend line. Uh, but FTSE will climb higher as long as the cable is going lower. Mm, and as we said, the cable is about to go lower and lower and lower. Mm, and uh, from that FTSE, uh, FTSE can benefit from that and can climb higher actually without any bigger stops S&P 500 daily chart on S&P 500 leave no doubts this is a very positive situation the price is bouncing from the long term with the sh with the hammer uh, which in my opinion is a legitimate signal to buy i would be very surprised if the FTSE i'm sorry if the S&P 500 broke those lows from this hammer uh, generally i think that those lows will be defended and the price will go uh, significantly higher Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar after defending this uh, green support uh, we broke uh, the upper line of the correction pattern we broke from, uh, from the sideways trend uh, the price went higher triggering a buy signal now we do have a correction if we will defend this area and the price will climb higher that will be a strong buy signal
British pound to Australian dollar. What we have here is an invitation for a super strong buy signal on a daily chart. Why is that? Combination of long term uptrend line, combination of horizontal support. Unfortunately, we saw that few times that it uh, don't work, like here, British pound to Canadian dollar or British pound to American dollar. Here. So, it, it, it has to work here. Well, it does not. So, uh, stay. Maybe not safe, but be cautious. And I think that the only buy signal and so far it's I think it's too early to buy. Price likes to test uh, this kind of levels twice, for example. Uh, so I would wait for the second test and I would wait for the breakout of the black line. As long as we are not breaking the black line, there is no buy signal. But that the buy signal is near here and it would be nice to see it. It would be totally explainable from the, um, uh, from the technical point of view. Uh, British pound to New Zealand dollar. Hmm. Why I didn't open a short position here? I was waiting for this because look on a weekly chart the price a week ago created a shooting star and this is actually a great setup because it's a downtrend there is a shoot uh, to the du double top on a weekly chart and this is double top on 38.2 and weekly chart is a shooting star why I didn't open this formation well my mistake should I chase the train now? That's the that's the worst thing that actually what traders can do is to chase the train. Well, so far, mm, what we do have here is a defense on the uh, trend line on the daily chart, so it's all good. Mm, but 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 breaking those lows will be a signal to go short, and actually with a great risk reward ratio because horizontal support is here so let me calculate this for a further reference like uh, sell here stop loss 100 pips potential target 300 pips yes this is a good trade in terms of the risk to reward ratio uh, British pound to uh, let me check the uh, swaps for short position is positive obviously so it would be also a good carry trade uh, there will there can be a small obstacle here uh, but eventually the price should reach the gray area so may it's a good idea dax uh, I'm waiting for the scenario to retest um, of the recent resistance support and a further upswing. And British pound to Canadian dollar, which failed to protect the horizontal support and uptrend line. So that's why be extra careful when you're entering uh, long here, because it's the same setup, it's just a different pair. Here it didn't work out. I was thinking about the bigger correction here. But the price is just very weak and the cable is in the British pound is going lower. So most probably uh, this will continue. Where is the potential target for this? Well, 38.2 can be a good signal for stop, but maybe they will continue till 50. We will see. Anyway, thank you very much for attending uh, daily analytical report. Let's uh, check your dollar. And before, uh, well, the euro dollar is try is doing the best to defend this horizontal, uh, this uh, lower line of the pennant. But I don't think it's over. It's hourly candle, and we still have half an hour, so we'll see how it will work out for them. Uh, keep in mind that uh, price closing below this area 
That will be a strong sell signal. I don't think we'll have a uh, result before the non-farm payrolls. I think that the price will wait with the breakout for the non-farm payrolls. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for attending this daily analytical report. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we see each other in half an hour on educational webinar. Thanks very much again. In the meantime, visit our Twitter account and our website, all private news.